Can you imagine a world where a simple scratch could lead to a life-threatening infection? Picture a time, not so distant, when humanity was at the mercy of seemingly minor maladies. A world where a small cut, a common cold, or a simple toothache could spiral into a fatal condition. This was an era when the invisible world of bacteria reigned supreme, striking fear in the hearts of even the bravest. Infectious diseases were not just a matter of personal health, but had far-reaching implications on society. They shaped the course of history, halted armies, and toppled empires. Every cough could be a death sentence, and every fever, a final farewell. The desperate need for a solution was palpable, and yet it seemed like an impossible dream. But unbeknownst to the world, tucked away in a quiet corner of scientific inquiry, the seeds of a medical revolution were being sown. The world was on the brink of a medical revolution, but it didn't know it yet. Enter Alexander Fleming, a scientist with an eye for detail and an uncanny knack for observation. Fleming, a man of science, spent countless hours in his laboratory, surrounded by petri dishes and bacteria cultures. One day, in the year 1928, a seemingly ordinary day evolved into an extraordinary event. Fleming had left a petri dish of Staphylococcus bacteria uncovered, and upon returning, he found something unusual. There was a mold growing in his bacterial culture, and around this mold, the bacteria were dying. This wasn't just any mold, it was a strain of Penicillium notatum. Fleming didn't dismiss this as a random occurrence. He saw an opportunity. He realized that the mold was producing a substance that was killing the bacteria. He named this substance penicillin, and with this, the world's first antibiotic was discovered. It was a breakthrough moment, a moment of serendipity that would change the course of medical history forever. But as groundbreaking as this discovery was, it wasn't immediately celebrated. Why, you ask? Well, Fleming faced a significant hurdle. Producing penicillin in large quantities was a challenging task. The mold was fickle. It was difficult to grow, and even harder to extract the precious antibiotic substance in large amounts. Despite the clear potential of penicillin, many in the scientific community were skeptical. They dismissed it as an interesting but impractical finding. Yet, Fleming didn't lose heart. He continued his work, believing in the potential of his discovery. However, his breakthrough remained largely overlooked for over a decade. It was a spark in the vast field of medical science, waiting for someone to fan it into a flame. Fleming's discovery was a spark of hope, but it would take a team of dedicated scientists to fan it into a flame. The story of penicillin didn't end there. It was just the beginning. A group of scientists at Oxford University would soon pick up where Fleming left off, leading to the mass production of penicillin and ultimately ushering in the era of antibiotics. Stay tuned to find out how this happened in the next segment. A team at Oxford University picked up where Fleming left off. Thus began a new chapter in the story of antibiotics, a chapter penned with determination, resilience and unwavering perseverance. At the heart of this tale are a group of extraordinary scientists, led by Howard Florey, Ernst Chain and Norman Heatley. Their mission? To take a substance discovered in a laboratory and turn it into a life-saving medicine. A seemingly impossible task, fraught with challenges and setbacks. But the Oxford team was not easily deterred. Armed with their scientific prowess and a shared vision, they set to work. Their first task was to purify the substance Fleming had discovered. The team worked tirelessly, deciphering the enigmatic properties of the mold juice. After numerous trials and tribulations, they achieved their first victory. The substance was finally purified, and it was given a name that would echo through the halls of medical history, penicillin. But the road to success was far from over. The team now faced another daunting challenge, mass production. Producing penicillin in quantities sufficient to treat humans was not a small feat. The process was arduous and required meticulous precision, yet the Oxford team was relentless in their pursuit. Day after day, night after night, they toiled, they refined their techniques, navigated roadblocks, and gradually they began to see progress. The penicillin yields grew. What was once produced in minuscule quantities in petri dishes was now being produced in large quantities in industrial-sized tanks. The impossible was becoming possible, all thanks to the tireless efforts of the Oxford team. Their journey was a testament to the power of perseverance and dedication. They faced obstacles, they stumbled, but they never lost sight of their goal. They pushed the boundaries of what was thought possible 
transforming a serendipitous discovery into a tangible, life-saving reality. With the production of penicillin, the world was introduced to its first antibiotic. A new era had dawned, an era where infections no longer spelled a death sentence, an era where hope was more than just a distant dream. The impact of penicillin on global health was nothing short of revolutionary. With its introduction, medicine leapt into a new era where bacterial infections, once deadly, could be effectively treated. This humble mold-derived substance brought about a seismic shift, turning the tide in the battle against microscopic invaders. Imagine the world during the throes of World War II. Wounded soldiers, vulnerable to infections, were at the mercy of bacteria. Penicillin entered the scene like a silent hero, saving countless lives on the battlefield. It was hailed as the wonder drug, and rightly so. It was not just the soldiers, civilians, young and old, reaped the benefits of this medical marvel. In the post-war era, penicillin continued to be the beacon of hope against bacterial diseases. From pneumonia to scarlet fever, from syphilis to diphtheria, penicillin proved to be a formidable weapon. It was as if the world had been handed a magic potion to ward off the spectres of disease. The legacy of penicillin is not confined to the pages of history. It is alive and thriving in our present, echoed in every life saved, every infection defeated. It was the first, but it spurred the discovery of a host of other antibiotics, each playing a pivotal role in our ongoing struggle against bacterial diseases. Penicillin was the dawn of the antibiotic era, forever changing the course of human health. Its impact is imprinted on our lives, a testament to human ingenuity and the power of serendipity. Today, antibiotics continue to play a crucial role in our healthcare. These mighty microscopic warriors are still our first line of defense, tirelessly battling against harmful bacteria. Whether it's a simple skin infection or a life-threatening sepsis, antibiotics are there, safeguarding us. They also play a pivotal role in medical procedures, preventing complications and ensuring successful outcomes. As we continue to fight against infectious diseases, we owe a debt of gratitude to the pioneers who discovered and developed antibiotics.